introduction now, huh? Then you come, not before, and I get mine. Kathy! Kathy! Uh, what is come it? on, babe, will you? Come on. Honey, what do you want? What are you shouting about? Something you'll be shouting about when I show you. Oh. Now, you know next week the Friars Club is having family talent night. Yeah, I heard. You heard? Mm -hmm. Well, wait till you see what the Williams family is going to do. What? Right this way, madam. Front row center. Aren't you lucky to have such a ticket? Sit right down. This your escort? Nice head of hair. Yes, sir. How did you do, sir? <laughs> sit right down there. Fine. Get on with it, huh? Okay, madam. Right away. Ladies and broom. <laughs> the Friars Club proudly presents the Williams family. I would catch a flying monkey by the tail for you. I would lead a wagon train along a trail for you. Would you take me to the monster for a treat? Sure, if my mother would only let me cross the street. <laughs> I would rope the toughest Bronco in the West for you. Oh. I would fly the X-15 on its next test for you. I'd parachute from 60,000 feet. Whee! If my mother would let me cross the street. What else? I would be a TV cowboy. My own show. Oh, why? Once a week. Gosh! I might even give my horse to you if you kiss me on the cheek. Wow! I would trap a giant tiger as a pet for you. There's nothing in this world which I won't get for you. But you gotta come to my house so we'll meet. Why? Cause my mother never lets me cross the street. She will! <laughs> There's nothing in this world which I won't get for you. But you gotta come to my house, so we'll meet. Why? Cause my mother never lets me cross the street. You mean your mother never lets you cross the street? That's right, cause my mother never lets me cross the street. <laughs> That, eh, honey? Then Terry and I'll do Daddy's Little Girl together, and the four of us do a little finale. Yeah, the Williams family's really gonna have an act, right? Oh, I'm sure the Williams family will. Now, if you'll excuse me. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Come on, something's bugging you. What is it? Nothing, nothing at all. Oh, I don't know. When you say nothing, nothing at all, that means it's a big fat something, something at all. <laughs> Come on, what did I do? It isn't what you did, it's what you didn't do. What I didn't do? Okay, tell me what I didn't do so I won't not do it again. What was it? <laughs> I'd rather not discuss it. Okay. Okay, you mean you don't care? I care, you said you didn't want to discuss it. What kind of a man are you? Oh, the usual kind. <laughs> two legs, two arms, and a head, and stuff you like that. You know very well that you neglected to do something that's bothering me. And if you cared one little snip for me, you'd know that I want to tell you that I'm dying to tell you. So tell me. I won't tell you. Oh. <laughs> I'm dying to tell you, but I won't tell you. What did I do? Please tell me. No. Please, pretty please. You'll have to worm it out of me. And that should be pretty easy for you, you worm. <laughs> Worm. Boy, whatever I didn't do, it must have been a Lulu. Oh, come on, Kathy. Please, oh, Queen of Ireland, look down upon this lowly Lebanese peasant. And please tell me, oh, Your Majesty, what it is I did to displease you. Well, the Friars Club affair is called Family Talent Night, isn't it? That's right. And, and you bill yourselves the Williams family? Yeah. What's my name, Cock and Locker? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I see. You mean you want to be in the act, 
to, you little ham. I am not a ham, but I am a part of the family. But you have no talent. What? I don't mean it. Don't. <laughs> Excited now. I just meant you have no theatrical talent, does you? Well, mind? let me tell you something, no. Mr. Smarty. You're skating on very thin ice. No, no. I haven't told you this before, but I've had offers to go into show business. To do what? Be the new lassie? Oh. <laughs> what offers you've had to go into show business? What a silly statement to make. I've had offers to go into show business. Well, I suppose you don't remember the party we went to with the people from the television agency last month. I remember it quite well, dear. Well, Stanley Cooper, the television producer, told me that I ought to be in television. He was being nice. Pure parlor talk, and that's all. It was not parlor talk. Oh, come on. You remember, I was playing charades. I remember you were playing charades. Well, when I acted out, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, everyone was very impressed. How come nobody guessed it? <laughs> jokes, Mr. Smarty, but let me tell you something. If I wanted to get into show business tomorrow, I could do it just like that. You wouldn't last a day. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. <laughs> that sounds very much to me like a dare, and if I didn't accept a dare, my ancestors would roll over in their graves. I'm not daring you. Oh, boy, you All think you're the only one that knows anything. I never saw anybody that's it's so conceited. It's a lot tougher than looks on that little screen, you know. Oh, Will you, for heaven's sake, stop your... You haven't got a chance to get a word in it. Look, to begin with, it's purely an academic discussion. Well, it may be academic to you, but it is not academic to me. Now, let me tell you something. I am going out and get a job in show business. No, so sure. Sure you are. Sure, sure. Blowing bubbles for Lawrence Welk. <laughs> You have to, Milk. It's good for you. It makes bones. Who needs more bones? <laughs> Besides, you don't have to drink milk to have bones. You do, too. Well, fish don't drink milk, and they're loaded with bones. <laughs> drink. Hey, hello. Anybody home? Oh, Daddy, thank goodness you're here. Boy, have I had my hands full with them. They won't finish eating. You've had your hands. Where, where's your mother? Uh, she's out. Uh, where? <laughs> Out. It's very informative. Just out. Where's your mother, Russ? Out. Daddy's little girl, Linda. Where's mommy? Out. <laughs> what is this? I've got a secret? Uh -huh. And we promised wild horses wouldn't drag it out of us. Is that so? <laughs> well, I got a little shiny dime here. She went out to get a job as an actor. <laughs> Linda, you little, you little squealer. So she went out oh, to get a job right, as an actress. You Where did she go? Finish your dinner, and when you threw she's going to Bill Brokaw's office? Board, see, Sam I Harris? Have to get dressed because Where did I your mother go? Today? Harry, come back here. Harry! Teresa Cecilia Williams Holt. Now, come back here, young lady. I would like to know where Tallulah went. <laughs> I don't know where she went. All I know is this morning she tore the amusement page out of the paper and got dressed to the teeth and off she went. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. She's probably make, making the rounds of all the booking agencies. She's going to have more doors slammed in her face. She's going to come home with loose teeth. <laughs> well, it's all your fault. My fault? Well, you dared her, didn't you? I dared her. All I said was she didn't belong in show business. It's a good thing I didn't tell her she, she couldn't be a space pilot. She'd be up in orbit by now. <laughs> <laughs> Baby? Don't touch me. <laughs> oh, please. I've never had such a day in all my life a humiliation. Humiliation? Well, what happened, sweetheart? Danny, do you know a producer by the name of Randy Hale? Randy Hale? Sure. He's a nice guy. Nice guy? He's a beast. Randy Hale, honey, is one of the nicest guys in the musical comedy business. Very well thought of. Well, I went to see him today, and do you know what he asked me to do? What? He asked me to lift my skirts above my knees so he could look at my legs. <laughs> So? What do you mean, so? Isn't that awful? Awful? Honey, if a man is casting girls for a musical, he's got to look at your legs. Oh, why does he have to look at your legs? One thing, he has to count them. <laughs> 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 
one is you have to look at my leg. To see if they're shapely, if they're right. The guy is a great producer. Oh, well, producers are the rudest people I have ever met. Every office I went in today, and there must have been a dozen of them. They were just plain rude. Oh, oh I'm oh, sorry, geez. honey. Well, anyway, now you know what it's like, and I'm... I'm sure it's all out of your system now, huh? Oh, no, it isn't. No? I'm not through yet. You just wait and see. I refuse to let it beat me. I'll show you, and I'll show them. Just you wait. <laughs> I've heard of the Irish being stubborn, but that's got to be the most stubborn Irishman in the whole world. <laughs> She's gonna keep fooling around till somebody gives her a job. Then she's gonna get a taste of what it's really like. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy, what are you up to? I'm gonna call Stanley Cooper. The television producer? That television producer. He owes me a favor. Mr. Cooper, I just can't tell you how thrilled I was when you called me. It was such a and surprise. Well, I remembered how you acted out, hear no evil, see no evil, and speak no evil, <laughs> at the agency party. Oh, yes. And it was such a big hit, and so when this part came up and I heard that you'd been around to the different offices trying to get into the business, I said, that is the girl for me. Are you interested? Oh, definitely. It couldn't have come at a better time. Well, fine. Uh, tell me, what sort of a part do I play? Is it comedy or drama? Well, I say it was uh, drama. Oh, that sounds very interesting. Is it an important part? Just about the most important part in the show. The lead? No, the commercial. <laughs> oh, the commercial. Well, don't underestimate the commercial. You know, it's done quite a bit for girls like uh, Betty Furness and Julia Mead. Why, well, they're bigger than a lot of stars. Well, that's true. It would be kind of fun being another Betty Furness. Yeah. I've had plenty of experience opening refrigerators. <laughs> Good. Now, suppose you get into wardrobe and we'll give it a whirl. All huh? right. Uh, what about my script? Oh, you don't need one. Well, how will I learn my lines? Oh, there aren't any lines. Betty Furness has lines. You see, your part is pure acting. It's pantomime. Oh, well, that should be fun. Fun? <laughs> All right, Sam, <laughs> yeah. would you take me to wardrobe, please? Well, okay. thank you. I, I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> well, it's so wonderful. Don't thank Just me. Just come right this way, honey. Please yeah, don't yeah. thank me. <laughs> Here she is, Stanley. Uh, Aren't she look great, huh? Very, very good. Yeah. Okay, well, now we're ready to go. Look what they put me in. Yeah, I see what they put. Perfect. That's just what we want. Oh, well, I don't understand. Excuse me, honey. You're standing right on the side. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, I'll, ex I'll explain it to you. You see the line drawn down the middle of the floor here? Yes, uh -huh. You see this nice, new, modern kitchen over uh -huh. here? Everything ship and very, very neat. Yes. Well, this is a modern housewife's kitchen. Now, you see this dirty, filthy, nasty, torn-up old kitchen over here? Oh, excuse yes. me. Well, this, is, uh, <laughs> this modern kitchen is the housewife who uses Clean-O. And this dirty, messy old kitchen over here is the old-fashioned housewife without Clean-O. Oh, I'm, I'm uh, without? I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Five places, everybody. We're about ready to roll, yeah, Stanley. Okay. Say, Stanley, don't you think she looks just a little too healthy? I think you're right. Sam? Yeah, come in. Too healthy, up. Sam. Would you take Make it out of here? Here you are, honey. That's <laughs> Okay, action! Now, uh, Milton? Ladies, look at this weary, work-worn, dreary old drone of a housewife who has sacrificed youth and beauty with old-fashioned cleaning methods. Oh, uh, the drone of a housewife! Here is the modern way. The clean old way. Get some today. Oh, 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 Gloria, that was wonderful. Oh, oh, that was just beautiful. I don't know how you do it. It's just me. Can, I, uh, can I get out of this now? Get out of it? Yeah. Well, that was a dry run. We're going for a take. Get on your knees. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, come in here, Sam. Every time hey, she stands up, she Ladies, 
Yeah. Look at this weary, work-worn, dreary old drone of a housewife who has sacrificed youth and beauty with old-fashioned cleaning methods. But here is the modern way. The clean all way. Get some today. Tata! Gloria, you did it again. I don't know how you... <laughs> what a touch you have with that thing. Sam, a chair for the lady, please. You must be tired. Thank you very I much. Know she's very tired. nice. Oh, oh, please, what's the matter with you? Sit down. <laughs> Put your feet up. Let the blood go to your head. You'll feel a lot better. Well, Stanley, we're going to have to go for another take. The film buckles. The film buckles. Oh, Lord, I'm sorry. Are you up to it again, oh, darling? Of course. Oh, yeah, you mind. are a trooper. You mm. are a... You're standing again. Yes. What are you doing? Ladies, look at this weary, work-worn, dreary old drone of a housewife who has sacrificed youth and beauty with old-fashioned cleaning methods. But here is the modern way. The clean old way. Get some today. <laughs> you're too good for television. They don't deserve you. Sit down, Gloria. I know you're tired. It was gorgeous. That must mean that I can get out of it now. Are you tired? Oh, boy. I've never been so beaten in my life. Well, that's show business. Glory, I tell you. I love another take, sweetie. Another take? Well, I don't feel that I did my best. I don't think it was the real me. Couldn't have been better than that, Glory. You were just gorgeous. It just didn't feel like me. Another take, please, Stan, for baby. Are you what? You're a trooper, a trooper. <laughs> You're standing again. What are you doing? There were a dozen more takes. Oh, I thought I'd never get out of there. Oh, honey, that feels so good. I'm glad of that. I've never been so sore and tired in my whole life. Oh, you just forget about it, honey. I'll have you feeling ship shape in no time at all, and, and you'll see you'll forget all about that nightmare. Well, that won't be soon enough for me. <laughs> When they say there's no business like show business, they're not fooling. <laughs> if it's that hard to do a commercial, what's it like to do a whole show? It's like I said, honey, it looks a lot tougher than it looks on that little screen. I turn over and you let me get you back. Well, I admit it's got me licked. Oh, sorry. You had to go <sighs> through so much trouble to find it out, dear. Yeah, well, that's my stubborn Irish streak. I had to do it the hard way, and oh. I do mean a hard. Oh. Scrubbing till my back was nearly broken in all that filth and dirt. What a shame. They did that to you, and then they, they made over that clothes horse Gloria like she was doing all the work, huh? The way that director yeah. fawned over her, it was disgusting. Terrible. <laughs> How did you know about Gloria? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Turn around, honey. Let me... Wait a minute. I never mentioned anything about Gloria. You didn't mention Gloria? That's no. That's funny. Well, turn around, honey. Let me get Daddy, you back. Daddy, I <laughs> want to know how you knew about Gloria. Oh, how, how, how I know, know, about, know about Gloria? Well, Gloria... Oh, 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 I, uh... I, I just ha happened to call Stanley. I'll bet you just happened to call. Well, now, honey, what are you getting yourself all wrought up? I, I want you to forget this whole thing. I'll bet you want me to forget. That's right, Suddenly I do. Suddenly, everything is clicking into place. Oh? Why, at this particular time, did he call me? No, I was And why, out of hundreds of other girls, did he choose no, me? I, I, and why this particular commercial? I, I, and why couldn't I have been the girl with Cleano instead of without? Well, 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 well now I know. Look, 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 Irish. I, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, oh, honey, I'm sorry. I, 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 I did it, and I, I'm sorry. I, I don't see how you could be so mean. Oh, I, I'm sorry, dear. I apologize. Oh, we sure apologize. That's supposed to clear up everything. Oh, baby, no, no, it doesn't clear up everything, but... Uh, uh, well, well, it I... hurts me so that you'd pull such a low trick treating me like a little child. Oh, sweetheart, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, sure. Honest, honest, baby. I'll never trick you again. Honest, I won't. I'll never, never trick you again. I wouldn't believe you if you signed a statement with your blood. Oh, which sounds like a delightful idea. Honey. <laughs> Look, sweetheart, I, I know, I know I stacked the cards against you, but, but, believe me, I, I, 
I, I did it because, well, you were going into a business that, that's, that's real tough, sweetheart. Well, you made it tough. Darling, I did it because... I know you won't believe this, but I did it because I love you. Oh, Pooh. No, not Pooh. No. I love you. I did it because I'm selfish. I don't want to share you with anything or anybody, your career or anything else. I need you as a mother and, and, and as a wife and, and as a sweetheart. And look, I realize now that you have your needs, too. And if you really need to prove that you can be an actress, then I won't work against you. I'll work with you. I'll, if you want me to, I'll call Stanley Cooper and tell him to give you a real part, a job. How sure, about a real job, like like digging sewers. <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean, a real job as an actress. Oh, I don't believe you. All right. I'll prove it to you. I love you as as much as a man can love a woman, and I'm. I'm going to help you. If that's what you want, that's what you'll get. Hello, Stanley Cooper, please. Hello, Stan. Danny Williams. Oh, yeah, yeah, it worked. A little too well, I'm afraid. Stan, it was a dirty trick, and I'm ashamed of myself. No, she's all right. I just, uh, well, it hurt her feelings, and, and I was wrong. Now, look, Stan, I want you to give her a job, a real acting job, something she can get her teeth into. Of course I feel the same way as I did, but... Look, I gotta think about her, too. It's what she wants. Stan, I can't be selfish about this. Don't I want her as a wife and a... Are you kid? Do I want my right arm? But it's what she wants. It's important, too, you know. Look, look Stan, please, don't argue with me. I, I want you to do this for me, please. But I know it'll change our lives, but that's show business. Look, we can be together once in a while. I mean... <laughs> when we're both not working at the same time, we'll probably see each other at home. And look, Stan, you, you do this for me, huh? Oh, honey, no, no, no. Wait, I don't want you to do that. Wait, hold on. What is that? What is it? Oh, darling, I don't want it. Honest, I don't. Kathy, are you sure? Oh, honey, I'm sure. I don't want any life that'll take me away from you, not for any career. Honest, honey, I don't want it. Really. Mm -mm. You tell him. No. Stan. <laughs> it's kind of... Hard to explain. Oh, Listen. honey, I can explain no, it much better I'll than you can. You. Darling, <laughs> yes, Dan, gee, thanks a lot. But, you know, I really have no desire to be an actress. All I want to be is a what? And uh, a mu... <laughs> At the sound of the tone, the time will be... Shoot. They shoot a lot of film and use what they need. Lots of times, everything ends up on a cutting room floor. Well, if that's show business, you don't have it to pull any tricks to keep me out of it. Gee, that worked for nothing. Hello. Oh, hello, Gracie. How are you? You mean you actually saw me? And you recognized me? Oh, yeah. Well, it was kind of a cute bit. Yeah, I, I felt real good playing it. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, no, you know we show people. We know right away when a scene is right or not. My next role? Well, that all depends on... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 